Hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna to be taking a look at Peter McKinnon's brand new everyday bag that I've been using now for my last couple of shoots and it's just been wonderful. This backpack, the way they designed it was just very intelligent and I'm a big fan. In fact, let me show you the bag that I've been using for like three years of which I've talked about in this channel and it's my SKB bag, which is actually bigger than the Peter McKinnon bag, a little bit wider, but what's crazy is that this backpack over here can fit 25% more gear than that bag. Now, this is the second generation of Peter McKinnon's lineup. The first gen was really meant for a two to four day shoot, which was much bigger than this. This is a little tiny guy. This is literally meant for everyday stuff, the day of the shoot, the stuff that you're gonna bring for that day, not your whole entire studio. And let me tell you, everything that I would possibly need fits in this bag for an everyday shoot. But what's impressive is the organization options that you have inside. But let's talk about the exterior design first. Very similar to generation one, which I was a big fan. In fact, I backed that Kickstarter because I was a fan of the backpack. Unfortunately, I didn't use it much because it was just too big. This one here kind of takes everything that was good about that and you know makes it even better. So right here, again, the design language is very similar. They did do a couple of different things. For example, on the first generation, you had side access to all of your gear. They've completely eliminated that. And now they have something which Peter calls the loft, which is access up above but the way they designed it which we'll talk about in a second is just really brilliant now they have another slot for like a water or any type of gear and I love the magnetic so it just kind of tucks away and then on this side I have again for water bottle or like a Joby gorilla pod and then I like these little anchor points throughout the bag so you have some on the front you have some here on the side which allow you to anchor things like for example in my other bag this would just fall into place if I lay it down nope not with this one this just kind of stays upright something else that I like about this bag that Peter didn't actually tell me and I just kind of figured it out is when you put this bag down it has a lip down here and it just keeps the bag upright unlike other bags that just kind of fall in their face this one stays upright which makes it so much easier to just kind of grab and go and then on the back side we have Peter's logo which is the pirate logo which is cool but also something I like that they kept from the first generation is this pass-through for your luggage handle which I really like of course the materials are very premium everything just feels very rugged like it's just not gonna break or just fall apart in a couple of months this is just all premium big fan of the back this is one of the reasons and I talked about this with my first generation. I love this design, the way it feels on your back, very comfortable. There's a side pocket over here for a laptop. So for example, you could fit a 13, 15 inch laptop or what I like to use if I'm you know, on a shoot, I like to put a reflector in there. Now let's go ahead and go inside and show you all of the gear that I've been using lately and how I kind of have this you know, packed up. So. Okay, so the idea behind this bag is that it's supposed to be modular, the way you organize it, and the way they thought of this is actually pretty brilliant. So they have these cube inserts, and the idea is that you use these cube inserts around your studio, so you use them not only for organization purposes, but also to load up your gear much faster. And actually, it's a pretty brilliant idea because you can just buy these and then you can have them around your studio. And let's say, okay, I need to shoot with the FX3. I already have my kit. This is the way I keep it organized in the studio. I can just pop these in here and then I'm ready to go. How long did that take me? Three seconds, right? But let's say, okay, I know that I'm gonna be shooting with a camera and also a bunch of lights and I need a lot of V-mount batteries. Okay, well then I don't really need this setup over here, but I need V-mount. So oh, here's my V-mounts. This will power like the whole day right here. I've got several V-mounts, but look how quickly I did it without having to grab a V-mount, grab another one and figure out how I'm gonna lay it out and change the dividers, which takes a lot of time. The idea is, okay, I don't need this setup, I need another setup and it's, you know, this one's blank, but the idea is, okay, this is a setup I need. No, I don't need this one. I need this one. And then bam, you're ready to go. So this is the setup that I've been using in my shoots. So I'll just do a quick uh, walkthrough. So I've been using the FX3. I love how the form factor, look how tiny it is. It'll fit in here. Then I take my next 2D. So this is stuff that like, again, daily use. This is for transferring storage. If anybody else is on set and I need to grab, this is four terabytes of storage so I can grab their footage. And I usually carry, you know, three, four, sometimes even five lenses, but these have been my go-to. And just to show you how large these lenses are and the amount of storage you can fit in here, this is my 135. This is a big boy. And if you own this lens, you know how large this lens is. Then I have my 20 millimeter lens for my wides and I can, you know, crop 
pop in with Super 35 and get like an equivalent 35. And then this is an 85, which is another large lens. And then on this side over here, this is something interesting because my other bag, my SKB, I couldn't take this with me because the way Sony designed the FX3, it's actually kind of a flaw and I'll get to that in a second. So I've got an Anton Bauer here. This will last me nine hours, but this is the flaw here. It's their XLR handle. So I've got an XLR mic, but their handle. This thing is just clunky. It takes up so much space and it takes up unnecessary space because you cannot detach this. So on my other bag, if I put this in that bag, like I just used up a whole bunch of space because the way this is designed, you saw how I had it inserted there. I can quickly just add all this stuff and now I'm it's all usable, which is nice. Now over here, we have a couple of different pockets. Now I was told that this design might change slightly so they don't have these dividers anymore. It's just gonna be one pocket. It's probably best to look at the Kickstarter. I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description to follow up with all of the updates. So it won't be individual as I was told. Uh, but right now I have, what I'm carrying here is just the uh, Peter McKinnon VND. I've been loving this thing, especially because the FX3 doesn't have built-in ND filters. And this is the Mist edition, so it has that halation look. If you guys watch that video, check it out. I'll leave it also linked down below. But this thing is awesome. And then I have a couple of step up rings for the other lenses. So like a 67 to 82 and then a 77 to 82 because this is an 82 millimeter VND. Some SD cards over here and a USB cable to power the FX3. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the loft. The loft is cool. That's probably one of my favorite features. So I'm just going to kind of zip this up a little so it doesn't fall over. But the loft Let's open this up. Now you guys know the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro is a massive camera. It's probably on the larger side in comparison to the, like the mirrorless cameras. So in here, I've got a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro, a cinema lens, and just to let you know, like you can put a Komodo, you can just put about any other camera in here. This is as big as it's going to get in terms of like run and gun setups. But what's really cool is I can also put a rigged up FX3. I mean, what I mean by rigged is like ready to shoot up here and I'll demonstrate that in a second. Normally I carry my R5 with a 24 to 70 ready to go. So like for example, if I need to take some pictures, I have top axis. This is cool, but it gets even better. So let me show you. So I went ahead and put the top handle on the FX3 because that takes a while. Now, remember the black magic that was inside the loft? Well, again, look how much space you have inside. I can put the black magic in here. No problem, and I still have room for another mirrorless camera, but this is what's cool. Let me go ahead and just slightly close this so my stuff doesn't fall, and then open up the loft. I've got the loft. Now check this out, bam. I'm gonna go ahead and put my FX3 with the handle. I could even put it with the lens, and then boom. There we go, FX3, ready to shoot pretty much. It's gotta put a lens on there, and I still have all of my gear. Oh, I gotta shoot something, no problem, bam. FX3 comes out. Pop a lens in there, ready to shoot with this annoying top handle. Now, what's even cooler, actually, let me leave this open, is that there's something else that you can do with the loft. So let's say, for example, you have a camera like the C70, which is much bigger than the FX3, and you wanna utilize this loft area. Well, check this out. You can take one of these cubes out of here, and then you can make the loft bigger. So this actually expands, and I like these little X's, kind of telling you, eh, can't put anything in here. Now, you have, pretty much like double the space in here. Like <laughs> so much space in here now. Look at this, I could put an FX3. It goes really deep in there and probably a, you know, a Komodo that's semi rigged out. And then what's also neat is you can also move these to the side this way. So rather than having them upright, you can do it this way. And then all this opens up and now you have full access to grab your gear. Again, brilliant design on this. Now, another new bag that was announced is this sling bag that you can actually fit inside the everyday carry. So say you're in a hotel, and then once you arrive, you wanna go even minimal, you can put the stuff, the essentials in here, and then just travel with this bag, which is obviously gonna be less like obtrusive. So this has a very similar design to the backpack, so they obviously complement each other. You have also those little anchor points, which I do like on the front side, and then on the back, you still have that pirate logo, which is cool, and then the pass-through for the luggage is great. Now let's go ahead and open this up to show you inside what you can take with you. And basically, it's just what you're gonna need. So a camera, possibly two lenses. So I've got the FX3, two lenses, 
and then you know some little knickknacks that you can fit inside like some SD cards, maybe a bongo ties, not very much in here. But what's really cool about this and I'll show you is, let me go ahead and put this on, demonstrate. So let's say I'm on a shoot and I grab uh, my camera and then I put a lens on here and now I gotta close the bag. Okay, that's cumbersome. So they have this little like strap that has a little buckle right here and all you need to do is just Put that in there and you're done. Let me go ahead and demonstrate that again. So you have this that you can just quickly go over this like button and then everything is now secured. Nothing's gonna fall. So you do all your shots, you're done. And now quick access, boom, put your stuff away and then that's pretty neat. Brilliant, again, very smart. Now, if you guys are interested in learning more about these bags, I'm gonna leave a link to their Kickstarter down below in the description, so make sure to check that out. My name is Armando, thanks again for watching, and you will catch me in the next one, adios. Well, I guess I'm ready to go. Let's go shoot.